Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Nicolas Venant speaking at Giant Magazine to the live report from both Düsseldorf in all four. I'm in front of the Candela uh, Speedboat Shipyard booth. Uh, Candela is a really innovative model, the first uh, electric foiler, motorboat foiler. Uh, let's meet Michael Moorberg, a PR manager at Candela Speedboat Shipyard to present us this concept. Michael, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nicolas. So, Michael, uh, it's a grand premiere for the Candela Shipyard. You present uh, uh, for the first time the famous Candela speedboat, uh, a really innovative model on, on the market. Yes, this is the longest range and fastest electric boat on the market right now. Uh, we uh, basically wanted to crack the issue of uh, all electric boats either having a very short range at high speed or uh, that they were very fast but with a, a very short range uh, or very slow. So basically we wanted to make a fast boat with good endurance and the only way to do this was to make it uh, with foils. Before presenting us uh, this model in detail, and we will have a private walkthrough for our viewers, uh, happy viewers, uh, a few words about your shipyard. You are a Swedish one. Yes, we're, uh, we're Swedish. Uh, we have a factory in Stockholm, and so far we've built uh, 10 boats of this, uh, this uh, new bow rider. Uh, so we have uh, 30 employees, and we're aiming to build uh, 40 boats this year in 2020, which would make us the biggest electric boat manufacturer in the world in terms of revenue. Yeah, uh, you aim to be the Tesla of yachting. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a very innovative product. It's uh, we're actually we're a, we're a, we're a tech company that happens to make a boat. We're not a, a boat maker in that way. So we we have a, a first. Uh, a vision and a look at the design of the boat. It's a, a bow rider concept. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a bow rider. So uh, above the waterline, it looks pretty much like a, a normal boat, you know, uh, with a window and, and seating and everything like that. Constructed in carbon. Yeah, it's all carbon fiber. The hull and the deck. There's no glass fiber in this boat, uh, and uh, it's very light. Actually, two people can uh, can lift the uh, entire hull. It's 90 kilograms. Innovation in under the bow line with this foil. We will have a, have a look at, at the result on the sea with a very interesting video. Electric outboard engine by Torquido. And so we will have a look at the Candela flying on the sea. Yeah, uh, so this is the first uh, foiling electric boat on the market. And uh, foils mean that we have a, a very much lower drag than a planing boat. We uh, reduce the drag by 80% compared to a planing boat. 80%? 80%, and that means that we can uh, go 50 nautical miles on one charge in 25 knots. And that's a world record. So you can be out at sea for two and a half hours at 25 knots. And that's, uh, if you look at the other boats here at the show or, or in the world, the other electrical boats, that's uh, double the range of those boats. Yeah, uh, in fact, you use foils and foils change all the concept. Yes, we, uh, we use foils and we uh, believe that's the only way to actually get a good range and speed uh, uh, with a, an electric battery, which is super important to get carbon emissions down. We will have a a look at the layout of the Candela speedboat. When we look at the at the boat on the on the pier, it's quite a classical layout. It's classical layout, and what actually differs uh, from uh, any other boat is that uh, we can retract the foils and the motor. Uh, so the foils uh, they do uh, go they uh, go up, they retract. Uh, so when in shallow mode, if you're docking or going to a beach or anything, uh, you can actually uh, hoist up the foils. You can retract them into the hull, so they don't stick out. So you will never. Uh, you can use this boat as any other bow rider on the market, but it's an all-electric range, and it's since uh, we're running on a battery instead of a uh, gasoline fuel, uh, a full charge uh, going 50 nautical miles will cost you five euros. Uh, if you have a plain in gasoline boat that trip would cost you 200 euros. So we save 95% of the cost. We go aboard to discover front cockpit, finishing details, and the famous 
screen because uh, preparing this interview oh, from Black King uh, Karls Hamn and uh, preparing this interview you, you told me all the secret is in the uh, code yeah uh, basically we um, we use two ultrasonic sensors in the bow that measure the wave height in front of the boat and then we um, uh, have a flight computer on board just like a, a jet fighter or a flight computer yeah. Right, yes, this is the secret sauce behind the, uh, the super smooth uh, sea keeping capabilities of this boat. So we actually, we just race through the waves. But a boat like this, uh, that run on foils, uh, it's actually unstable if you don't make it super stable with math and, and uh, an algorithm. So we have a computer on board, uh, much like a, an airplane, uh, which, uh, which uh, corrects the foil a hundred times per second. So to make the boat very stable. And the result of this is that uh, you not only get a, a, a boat that's uh, very efficient, you also get a much uh, smoother ride in waves. So we can, we can actually go slice through waves that are 1.2 meters high without actually feeling them on board. So this is the only boat that you won't get seasick in if you're traveling in rough seas. So you not only get the efficiency, the speed, but you also get a really nice ride. It feels like flying actually a little bit above the water. In silence? In total silence, yes. It's a great difference too. Yeah, uh, it's a, it makes a great difference actually. You're, you're really relaxed when you uh, come home from a two hour trip, uh, even if it's uh, blowing a gale or, or half a storm. At, at which speed does uh, Candela fly? In 60 knots we start to take off. And uh, what is the maximum height of waves you can uh, sail with uh, the Candela? We, we tend to say that you can, um, if you go in 120 centimeter high waves, you won't feel them, uh, they won't even touch the hull. Uh, but if you go in, in higher waves than that, uh, you, will, you will feel the waves, uh, not slamming on the hull, but they will kind of gently touch the hull. So you will feel them, it will be a, li a, li a little stoppage in the waves, a little bit like that. It will be a lot smoother than a planing boat because perhaps 90% of the wave energy will be uh, uh, taken away uh, with a foil system uh, so and if you go into really big waves you will obviously have to go slow just like any other boats uh, what the price of the candela speed boat the price is uh, 245,000 euros for for this boat including uh, most things that you need like free updates for the software because this boat can be updated through the 4g connection so if we ha have something we want to do we can we can troubleshoot it online. Uh, the Tesla concept. Uh, is that possible for a customer to personalize uh, his candela? Oh yeah, uh, you can personalize it any way you want. So you can choose any color on the hull uh, so that you want. And uh, of course on the cushions and everything. So it can be highly personalized. It's, uh, uh, it's the owners, they can choose whatever they want. As a conclusion, Michael, why should a client choose a candela brand? Uh, well, uh, if you uh, want the best electric boat in the world, then you should choose a Candela. And if you want the best uh, boat in the world, you should also choose Candela. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Thank you, Nicolas.